Thank you for listening. These experiences are taken from an Ask Reddit thread. All credit will be given to the original authors, and a link to the thread can be found in the description. Enjoy. Number 4. The author of this story has deleted their account. Alright, last time I'll tell this story on Reddit because I've said it a couple of times and it never gets noticed. Maybe 8 to 10 years ago I was with my dad and my younger brother returning home to my mum's house when we were driving along this road with a forest on either side. My dad noticed it first and said, look at that, pointing up through the sunroof and maybe uh, 20 meters or 21 yards above us or less was this big dark gray circle and these bright white circular lights, all the same size and all equally spaced apart. It wasn't moving or it wasn't moving fast and wasn't making any noise as far as I could tell. Although we were in a Land Rover, I could see all along the bottom and sides was like square pipes running all along it, and although I'm not certain, I seem to think and recall there being symbols or hieroglyphics as well. As we passed it, the top of it looked like a bowl and was a lighter gray, and it remained there fixed and in place for a good 8-10 to 10 minutes until we drove out of sight. Number 3. Nihilistic Dawn's Experience Edge Ray, West Virginia. One night a few years back, my friend who's driving and I were taking his girlfriend home when he decided to take the long way home. As we were driving along this fairly deserted back road, I began to zone out and I stare at this blinking red light off in the distance. And casually think to myself, I wonder when they built a cell phone tower all the way out here when suddenly it blinks and is dramatically closer than it was just a moment earlier. At this point, my friend points it out and stops in the road. It blinks once more and it is directly in front and over top of us. The red light is so bright it floods the car in a deep, scarlet hue. I lean forward so that I can see directly into the light, and in that brief moment I feel a flood of negative emotions, the closest description I can offer is to that of being naked under a giant microscope and having every pore examined thoroughly. I then looked away from the light to my friend and asked him to drive. He barely responds, apparently in a similar state. Then he snaps out of it and starts driving. As we get a little ways down the road, I notice the red light isn't fading and the interior of the car is still clearly lit by it. I look out the window and to my horror the light is following us and does so for approximately one to two miles. The light unexpectedly veers off to the left and comes down to ground level in a patch of trees adjacent to the road. My friend stops the car again and continues to stare at it and abruptly declares he's going to get out and look at it, like he is in some sort of trance. He opens the door and I grab his arm and tell him if he does, I will get in the driver's seat and leave him. That we had to leave that instant. He looks at me and seems to come too and punches the gas so hard the tires lose traction and spin. The light remains stationary as we rode away, but I've never looked at the night sky the same. Number 2. Appalachian Winds Experience Uh, first time I ever tried to write this down. Um, first time telling anyone outside the family. I'm leaving out time and location and some other details because I'm still scared of what might happen with it publicly, I guess. Alright, summer before 8th grade. Me and two of my friends snuck out at midnight to go walk around the neighborhood and go see these girls on the next block who were having a sleepover. We turn a corner in our neighborhood and there's this huge black blimp shaped thing in the sky. Like the pictures of the Hindenburg, but bigger than that and as close if not closer. Completely silent and the size of at least four to five football fields across, no exaggeration here. Even though I was young. We stare at it, entranced, asking each other over and over again if we see it too, which we all agree that we do. Standing there, frozen in one place, it's like black polished gunmetal, no lights, no sound, no anything. 
it's just hovering there. And then I don't know what happened, but time clearly jumps. Next thing I remember is the craft slash ship slash government experience slash whatever the hell it is has gone. And there's a tiny glowing white barbell like thing just in the sky, seemingly slowly falling to the earth with wisps of smoke coming off it. Then two brand new black trucks with silver gearboxes on the back like F-150s or S-10s but nicer came speeding down the street going about 70 in a residential f uh, 25 mile per hour neighborhood. Then after that I remember walking home to one of my friend's houses and going to bed. At that point it was like 5 or 6 a.m. and the sun was coming up. We all made a promise to tell my dad in the morning because he worked uh, for the city but we never did. I don't know what happened later in life to one of my friends who was there, but the other was my best friend and we sort of made an unspoken pact never to talk about it. Don't know how or why we did that. We all grew up and I sort of lost touch with them too. We did reconnect over Facebook and such over the years, but it was like there was something between us neither of us wanted to touch or talk about. Looking back on it now, there's no way we could have been the only ones to see it. It wasn't that late and it was over a heavily populated suburb of a major city. The idea of this has always scared me more than any sort of possible abduction scenario that there were others and we're all voluntarily suffering a sort of collective amnesia except and how we're not. I've thought about hypnosis but that scares me too, plus I'm not sure if I trust the results. I was just a kid then and I'm not sure if I could trust the hypnotist. What I do know, again, is that there's no way it was just the three of us who saw it. We're talking a huge thing hovering in the sky directly above hundreds of houses just after midnight on a summer weekend night. But nothing on the news, nothing in the paper, nothing on TV, no words spoken about it again ever by anyone. This is a true story. I'm a little older than the average around here, I think, but I know what creepypasta and stuff like that is. This happened, and there's no way I'm the only one who remembers. No way. Thanks for letting me get that off my chest. Whew. Number one. Negative cap story. 1997, Colorado Springs, Colorado. I was eight years old, playing in the sand volleyball court at the park down the street from my house. I was engrossed in my activity, burying my collection of Happy Meal toys in the sand and then digging them back out. Repeat. I was looking down but decided suddenly that I needed to look up because the world around me had lost all sound. There was no longer any ambient noise, no traffic noise from the busy streets, just a block over. No more dogs barking, no more birds chirping. I looked at the street that bordered the park, and that's when I saw it. It looked like a stealth bomber turned sideways, nose leading, one wing toward the road and the other pointed up at the sky, completely shiny, black in color, as tall as a house shaped like an arrowhead. It was cruising the street at three miles an hour, just gliding over the road. I watched it for maybe um, 20 seconds. As soon as it had passed behind some two-story houses and out of my sight, I got my hearing back full force. I ran home with my piss-soaked pants and never spoke a word of it to anybody. Thank you for listening again. You can find the link to the thread in the description. Thank you to the authors for sharing your experiences.